What's going on, everybody? I'm Tank. This is another episode of Roadie Reactions. And today, we're going to be checking out the latest single and music video from Ad Infinitum. Now, I got to admit, I kind of let them slip through the cracks here with the announcement of their new album. The music video that we're checking out today is actually their third single release from that upcoming album, which means I've missed two. I don't know how that happened, but be willing to guess, just, you know, life gets in the way. I got a two-year-old running around at home. I'm getting ready to go back out on tour. We moved a couple months ago. Life has been crazy, but hey, at least we're checking out new stuff right now. And it's not like I'm not familiar with the band. I've been listening to these guys and girl for a while, so I kind of have a good general idea of how this is going to sound. But as I said, brand new single from an upcoming record, that record is going to be called Chapter 3, Downfall. If you couldn't tell, Chapter 3, this is their third studio album. Fourth, if you count the revisited version of Chapter 1, but third studio album on this one. It's going to release on March 31st, 2023 from Napalm Records. Pre-orders are available already, so if there's anybody that would like to support the band directly, if you like what you hear today... I'll throw links in the description of this video where you can go pre-order the album and other merchandise to help out the band. But since I really don't know anything else about this one, let's just get into it. I will link this original video in the description below. And today I am once again listening to Ad Infinitum and for the very first time, checking out their brand new music video for their song, Seth. Let's go. Oh, that, I thought I was crazy for a second. That is who I thought it was. Oh, that bass tone is so good. Okay, first of all, almost a 100% guarantee that this was mixed by Jacob Hansen. I mean, Jacob's worked with them in the past on their previous releases, and this just sounds absolutely incredible already right out of the gates. Uh, the tones and everything are awesome, man. Like, that bass tone was the first thing that hit me. I love it. It's punchy. It's clear. Um, and then even the guitar tones there that are with it in that verse part was really cool. Uh, I had a, a, a moment there in the beginning. So... The two fire dancers in the background, that is absolutely Jenny and Mita from uh, Feuerschwanz. Like, it took me a second, but it is. And kind of makes sense because uh, Melissa is in Dark Side of the Moon with Jenny. So, I mean, kind of makes sense, you know. Um, okay, I'm not going to lie. This one right now, a, a minute and a half in, it's a good song. It's not going to make me headbang my face off or anything, but not every song needs to do that. Uh, this is one where I'm enjoying just sitting here and kind of just taking everything in and listening because there is a lot going on. Um, not only do we have the musicians in the band, we have the orchestration that's being done in the background. If And if I'm not mistaken, I think the dude from Dragonland does all that. I'll have to double check. But um, let's keep watching this one and then maybe we'll talk a little gear and we'll we'll, we'll see what else we get.
some cool drum work going on. Okay, so if my eyes are not deceiving me, all of the gear that's in this video that everybody's using is the same stuff we've seen in other videos. So I don't think I'm gonna do like a full-blown talk and breakdown here, but uh, we can rip through everything really quick. Um, Adrian is, again, using that Sarah Longfield uh, signature guitar from Strandberg. Uh, Strandberg is a Swedish guitar company. Uh, I think they're in uh, Uppsala, if I'm not mistaken. Um, very well known at this point for their headless guitars. And that is actually the eight string model of the Sarah Longfield, which is crazy. And then not to be confused with Strandberg, Sandberg, another company, which is what their bass player Corby is using. Um, Sandberg is a very, very well known German guitar, uh, manufacturer. I think that's the same California VM five string that he was using before. Um, same finish on it and everything. And then Nicholas, their drummer, is once again playing a drum kit from DR Customs. Again, another German company. Uh, DR is the initials of the company's founder, uh, Dominic Reda. And I think that's it for actual gear. Um, yeah, let's see what we get in this bridge part here. I like the vibey guitar parts even with the rhythm going on too. was cool camera editing or video editing. <laughs> oh Sorry, just want to see some credits, see who is responsible for a lot of this. Okay. Um This is the sound I expect from this band. Like we all know they're talented and everything like that. Um, nothing really stood out in this one. If I'm being completely honest, that's not to say it was bad. Let me sit on this for a second. Let's go talk more about it. So for me right now, first time watching, listening, sitting in the moment, I'm not even going to beat around the bush. This one was like mid tier for me in terms of what I've heard from this band in the past and what I know they're capable of as musicians and a vocalist and stuff like that. And this happens sometimes, man. I'm by no means saying that it was bad. It sounded fantastic. There were clearly parts in it that I really dug and I liked the, you know, the mixing and the tones and everything, but Every now and then, like I was saying, this happens. There's a band that I really like and something comes out that on the first gut impression, it just didn't catch me. I mean, it happened with Sabaton recently and they're one of my favorite bands ever. And you never know, this could be stuck in my head tomorrow. I might be walking around my house with this stuck in my head. My opinions on things have changed, but right now in the moment, 
It was a good song. It just didn't really knock me out of my seat. There was nothing that I can really think of that stood out in terms of like a big hook or anything like that. I think it, to me, it was the main riff in like the beginning and ending of the song and post chorus and stuff like that was the one part that right now in my head, I'm kind of thinking of, but, uh, yeah, again, this happens, man. And there's always people out there on YouTube that are like, oh, reactors always love everything and they don't actually give us a real opinion. Well, here's my real opinion. It was good. It was just kind of mid. But I already know what I like from this band. I'm definitely going to pre-order this album because I have liked everything they've released, including their revisited album from Chapter One. And there's two other singles from this album already that I need to go check out. So who knows? I may actually like those a lot more than this one. But not every single release a band releases can just knock you out of your seat. And again, music is a very personal thing. So there's probably some of you out there that absolutely did love this single. And, you know, you're not wrong. I'm not wrong. Everybody has opinions. Music hits people differently. Totally cool. But if you do want to support the band, maybe this is your first time hearing them, check out the links in the description of this video. You can go pre-order the album. You can follow them on social media and check out their other stuff, which I would highly recommend you do because their other releases are absolutely fantastic. But thank you guys very much for watching. If this is your first time here, feel free to click subscribe. I release new videos all the time, not just reactions. We do bass playthroughs, podcast episodes. We talk about the music industry. So feel free to sub. I would love to have you. If you liked the video, feel free to like it. If you disliked it, feel free to dislike it. But just know that I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. I'm on a ton of different social media. I even have a Discord server a lot of us hang on. I have a Twitch that I stream on from time to time. So if you're interested in joining us there, I'll throw links in the description of the video. My handle on most everything social media is at tank the tech. Thank you so very much for watching. I will be back very soon with another episode of Roadie Reactions.